What up, my man in society? It is your host with the most, Shadow Loke. Back at you with another video. Um, make sure you guys like and comment and subscribe. It does help my channel get into the algorithm. I'll highly appreciate it. And I'm sorry if you hear the ambulance and the police sirens and the helicopter in the background. I'm from the ghetto, bro. This is where I reside. And, you know, apparently something happened right here where the sheriffs are, you know, buzzing around. Um... So I don't know what happened. It's a cloudy day in Los Angeles. And damn, he's right above me, too. Watch him trying to come and get me. Look at him. Mr. Ghetto Bird. Is it sheriffs? <laughs> <laughs> well, for those who reside in East LA, um, Boyle Heights, um, yeah, something happened. Now, anywho, what I wanted to talk about was black and brown, right? Um, why do I think um, the Rasa tries to act black? Right. Why do I think, you know, the Raza, you know, steers down that way, you know, uh, saying the N word, you know, adopting their steel or their lingo and stuff like that. Why do I think that that occurs? It's not because blacks are better than brown. I know you hear a lot of uh, ignorant people say that um, because truly. I honestly believe that no ethnicity is better than no other ethnicity. All our ethnicities are the same. We all have our good things to us. We all have our bad things to us. You know what I mean? Our cultures are all beautiful in their own way. Um, so nobody has the smartest or the most beautiful is or the best or whatever in their ethnicities. Where all our ethnicities have, you know, all of those traits to them. You know, from, you know, whether you're Middle Eastern, Asian, white, you know, black, brown, whatever, you know. We're all, you know, we're all humans at the end. But why do I think that, you know, that a lot of the raza adopts, you know, you know, the black culture? It only happens here, here in America that you see this happening in with the raza. Why? Because the United States is a melting pot of different cultures mixed into one. But here's the one problem, though. The problem is that a lot of our parents come from Mexico, Right. Well, well, from South America, you know, whether, you know, Mexico, whether El Salvador, Argentina, you know, Peru, you know, Nicaragua, you know, whatever, Salvador, you know, Guatemala, Honduras, whatever, wherever they all come from, right? And so they come to America and we're born here, right? So we can relate to our our family you know because we we never lived in in, in that country you know what i mean uh, we were born here and brought up here in the american system the american school system and the way of america but our family uh, applies the their their rules and their culture from from back home that we can't relate to so now we can't relate to our roots to our country because we never been there and we don't know what they're talking about and we can't relate to america because they they don't see us as americans right so we're kind of like this misfit right uh, we don't belong in, you know neither way right so we're trying to find our identity right and a lot of times what happens is that um we don't have a connection with our, our with our parents like that you know what i mean we don't have a bond like that um because we just don't understand each other, right? Um, we can't relate, and there's no communication. They're either always working, or you know, or in their own little world, right? So the 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 kid tends to steer off into the world and, and to to entertain himself or to find a connection or a bond. While a lot of them turn to the streets to, uh, you know, trip like that. But any home, so if there's one thing that we can. Uh, you know, relate to it because people could say, well, how come gangsters like that didn't act like that before? Because before there was a push for the brown movement, right? And the brown weren't just welcome here like that, right? So you had this brown pride to you because um, it was it was fighting for the brown to have some kind of rights uh, because of the mistreatment, because we were getting treated just like blacks too. It's just that people forget that part, right? When they were doing uh, discriminating against blacks and all that, they were also discriminating against the rasa. It's not that I'm looking for uh, to 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 block their shine or 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 looking to uh you know play sympathy and stuff like that. No, it was occurring too with us too, not just to them. Uh, I'm not I'm not here to try to rob their shine or nothing like that, bro. I'm here to state the facts. It was also happening to the raza. The raza was also getting lynched and all that, bro. Not just the blacks. Uh, and that's history, bro. You know, for those who really educate themselves, they know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, and those are the cold hearted facts. You can't be mad at me for spitting the facts. Um, so, you know, 
we were being oppressed as well, right? That's why there was a, a urgency for this, you know, for the cultura and 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 the and the honor, right? Not so much because we can relate to it, but because we are that, and we're getting mistreated, you know, because of it. Uh, you know, we're getting picked on, so we have to defend ourselves. But now in modern times, right? Everything has, you know, it's not perfect, but it's not as how it used to be, right? So in modern times, it, it's it's gotten better. So so it's so, so it's semi, it's semi, right? So these kids are now brought up in this world where it's semi, right? Now, you know, more families are, are crossing the border and coming over here and, and having kids here. So these kids don't have to go through the same struggles as, you know, as the homeboys did, right? With the homeless treatment, the, the riots and all of that. They don't have, they didn't have to experience none of that, right? So they still don't have a connection and bond with their family, obviously, because they, they're implying the, the, the rules from back home and they can't relate to them, right? And now another thing that has changed is that hip hop, rap, and um, social media has taken a big grasp of American society, right? Um, right where um, it's what's in, it's what's cool, it's what's hip. Black people do set the trends. Yes, they do here in America. They set the trends. Yes, they do. You know, they're athletes, they're musicians, they're artists, they're actors, you know, all of that. You know, they, they, so they're the role models, right? What these kids look up to, you know, whether athletes or, 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 or rappers, you know what I mean? It's what's cool, it's what's hip in the urban world, right? So wherever uh, the gang culture or the struggle or the ghettos exist, right? That's what's in, that's what's cool, that's what's, you know, rap, you know, music and all of that. Because it only occurs where the urban uh, culture is at, right? Where you have these Hispanics that try to act black or this raza, whatever. Um, because of the overall, they want to be like everybody. They're looking for an identity, right? They're looking to belong. As human beings, we want to belong to something, right? We're looking to belong to something. Nobody wants to be left out. Nobody wants to feel like, you know, they're not a part of something. So we're looking for a place to be. And if they don't have a relationship with those, you know, in their household, you know, to... to to make that connection, to teach them about their culture and stuff like that, they go look for it somewhere else, right? Uh, you know, and in the streets, you know, what, what's what's booming the hip hop world, rap, uh, you know, and all of that, you know, that's what's in, you know, or football or, or basketball, whatever. So that's what they adopt to. That's what they gravitate to because that's what they know because they want to be like everybody else. They want to be cool because that's what's hip. That's what's popping. That's what's trending, Right. So that's why they gravitate to that. And that's why they compare to like if you're from the streets like us or whatever, uh, um, you know, who, who 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 have an attachment to our to our roots. You know what I mean? Uh, because, you know, of, uh, of the of the schooling that we were schooled in while these individuals were not schooled like that. Right. So their schooling came from rap or, or or whatever. You know what I mean? And that's what they look up to. And that's why they try to imitate that. Right. They try to imitate who they look up to. And that's why you get them trying to act like them. Um, it's not that their culture is better than our culture. It's just that they don't know about their culture, right? Because they have no connection to those who could teach them about their culture. And that's why they gravitate to this, what their friends like, what's in, what's hit, because they want to be, they don't want to be left behind. They want to know what's in, who they want to be, you know, cool. They want to be able to know when their friends are talking, know what they're talking about. And, oh, yeah, 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 I heard that song. And they don't want to be left out like, oh, this fool doesn't know who that is or never heard that song. And he doesn't want to be, you know, ashamed. Uh, so that's why, you know, um, they build that connection. Uh, and that's what happens when you don't school your own uh, on, on, on what you be schooling them, what you should be schooling them in uh, when they don't have that bond. And then again, it goes back to what I said, but whose responsibility is that? It's the responsibility of the parents. But if their parents are not willing to take the time to apply these teachings, because look, I understand that our parents have to work and all of that. I understand sometimes they work two jobs and I get all of that. But as long as you just take 10 minutes or 15 minutes out of your day to just tell the kid, you know, have a conversation with your kid, you know, how was your day? Oh, yeah. What are your interests? If you just take 10 to 15 minutes of your day, of your time to have a conversation with him, I guarantee you he'll build a connection. It only takes 10 or 15. I'm not saying spend the whole entire day, hour after hour, every single day, 10 or 15 minutes or just bringing the kids some reassurance. That's all it takes, bro, to build a bond and a connection. But sad to say, we can't even get 10 or 15 minutes sometimes, bro. Because people think, how, how much could 10 or 15 minutes having a talk with somebody really make a difference in their life? This was full of shit. He doesn't know what he's talking about. All right. I mean, I didn't only become from the streets and street people's all around me. 
And I do, we do have conversations, but what the hell do I know, huh? Keep thinking that you know and we don't know and keep doing what you guys have been doing and not listening because it's been working fabulous, bro. 2022, ladies and gentlemen. Neighborhood still exists. Prisons are still full. So what America is doing is definitely working. What the hell are we going to know? But overall, that's my opinion on the overall matter. What do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comments and shadow we out.